Hi, happy spring. A few weeks ago, I told a story when I was in Oslo about the Vikings, and I asked the question, how is it that the world's greatest pillagers and plunderers settled down to become the happiest countries in the world, Scandinavia? And here's what I found out. The Vikings, for the most part, were a very comfortable farming civilization. It was the young men from poor families that had no wealth and no land who went off pillaging and plundering to try and find that. Well, three things happened to bring the practice to an end after only a couple of hundred years. Number one, back at home, the families and the elders said, we need you here working the farms. You got to bring this pillage and plundering thing to an end. Number two, they were typically attacking very small villages and tribes. Well, they got smart and they banded together. They built towns with walls around them and much stronger buildings. So it was much more difficult for the Vikings to be successful out there on their attacks. And number three, Christianity spread through Europe and with it the tenet of loving thy neighbor. Well, pillaging and plundering didn't fit very well into that. So there was pressure from religion to bring the practice to an end. And it did after only a few hundred years. The Vikings settled down to become very successful farming communities and today developed into the Scandinavian countries that we all know who were number one, starting with Finland, number two and number three on the list of happiest countries in the world. So way to go Finland, way to go Scandinavia for congratulations for building such a great society. It was a pleasure visiting you and it was really fascinating to find out what happened to the Vikings. Stories rule.